Hey guys, Run with Craft Scissors here with another plan with me. So we are in my Iron Condren planner. We're playing like of March 4th through the 10th. Um, we are coming up on my shop anniversary, um, March 11th. Um, I'm still trying to decide. A lot of things happened this last weekend. So this was the weekend that my husband and I were actually going to talk about um, the shop anniversary and nail down the exact dates and stuff of when we were going to do the sale. If it's one day, if it's two days, I don't know. Um, so all that's kind of up in the air because Friday night... Um, my husband went to the hospital. So if you saw my Instagram post, um, I did post about it because orders didn't go out as soon as they usually do. Um, and then when I did them, I did them on my own. So I hope I didn't mess anything up, but we'll see. Because uh, <laughs> I'm tired and I was trying to get them all done. Um, and then I took off today, Monday. You guys see this on Tuesday. Um, and then I'll go back to work tomorrow. So he had diverticulitis um, and it ruptured. And so then... Um, they put him on the antibiotics and stuff, but he is doing well. He is on the mend, so we are um, not completely out of the woods. He needs to finish his antibiotics, and then we'll be good. So this kit is from um, Pretty Planner, and it is called, I think, Ferris of the Mall. I think that's what she called it. I'm trying to remember. Yep, Ferris of the Mall. Just trying to make sure. Um, I should have just hauled this. You should have just seen this, like, yesterday. Um, so this is a brand new kit to her shop. Um, so I have lots of clips that match. However, I only have one left of this one. And I think someone is messaging me about it anyway. And then I think this is the last one of this one, too. I'm not sure. I don't know. I should probably check these things before I film. Um, and then this is the, I think, Cherry... Um, I don't know. Palm names are hard to remember. For me, anyways. Here we go. Um, and then I have my navy blue heart, of course. And then I did pull the apple, of course. Because there's the apple and she eats the apple and then she falls asleep and blah, blah, blah. Um, so, I believe the apple is still in stock, too. I think it's under food and beverage, um, as far as the listings go. And then, I think bird is all out. Yeah, there's no more birds. Um, so if you want this one, shoot me a message. It'll look exactly like that. Um, I won't make any changes to it, but, um, the bows, the red bow should be there. Um, just fine. No problem. Cause that's usually in stock. As far as that goes, I don't think we're out, <laughs> but you never know. So I hope not. And then, um, the apple I think is in stock is what I said. The red... Yeah, red bow is in stock completely. Um, and then I had a navy blue bow, but I don't I don't see that one, so that one might be sold out. I think that one was sold out. And then palms, I want to make sure I don't tell you the wrong thing. Yeah, this one's candy apple, so this one's actually called candy apple. And then this blue one right here is juniper, and I do have um, some of those left too. So those are in stock. Sorry, I'll try to be better about remembering to check all that stuff before we get started. So let's start planning. So this is a no white space spread. Um, that is my style. So um, we will go ahead and get started. I find it very functional for me, um, but not for everyone. It's not, I mean, not everyone likes no white space. So there you go. But okay, so bottom washi left side. This one, which I think I liked the last time I used one of her kits. I don't remember. I think last time I used it wasn't in this planner. It was in a different one. Yeah, I go all the way to the bottom, and then I go ahead and put some um, crack washi in between. I like that one. Yeah, so I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. Dust some stuff off. So instead of, like, lining it up with the bottom of this, I line it up with the bottom of the planer. Okay, which is a little tricky, trying to get it straight and such, and covering up the lines. I kind of have to hold it with my finger and I let go of it, which was a bad thing to do because it ended up going crooked. How am I so lucky that like it doesn't tear sometimes when I do this? I'm like, what? How did you not tear? Okay, so I'm trying to line it up with the bottom. It's a coil planer, so it's like hard to do sometimes because you can't quite see it. Okay, and this is the right side. So the way that I can make this functional is that normally this bottom area is not um, in use in my normal spreads, like everyday kits. Um, so that's usually not a problem. Sorry, some of these kits are getting in my way. Oh, I hope she sent me a new one of those. I don't think I asked, but I hope she did. 
Um, I'm moving stickers out so it's not so hard right there, like a big lump. Okay. Go all the way to the bottom as close as we can. And over. Why? Why didn't you stay down? Because you didn't put your finger all the way on it. That's why. Okay, so still pretty exhausted from spending two nights at the hospital with my husband. Um, I was not about to leave him alone. He hates hospitals as it is. Um, he just hates them. He's always hated them. So um, I was not going to leave him alone. Um, when we first got there, I do have some hospital stories. Um, when we first got there, there was a young man in the bed next to us that had the mouth of probably worse than a sailor. Um, and he went into detail on his story of how, not to us, he was talking to his mom, I guess. Um, and he was telling her about how he got shot. So he got shot in the lung with a nine millimeter. I know everything. Like it was a shared room and there was a curtain. Like I know everything about this kid. And then, um, and, uh, so, yeah, so then he was talking about how he was holding the blood from his lung in his little jar. I don't know. So weird. And then, um, he said, well, I'm glad you could be here for this time. And she's like, what was the last time? And he goes, when I broke my jaw. And I was like, probably because somebody was trying to get you to stop talking. Anyway, that's probably not very nice, but he was driving me nuts. And so <laughs> I was like, I was not having it. Okay. So that's the right side. Here's the left. Anyway, so um, I went to the nurse and I said, we cannot stay here with this guy. We cannot. I was like, I can't even call my kid to say goodnight because this guy will not stop cussing and talking about gross and appropriate things. And like he was even like saying stuff about the nurses inappropriately. Like he was calling his mom words like, no, I was not going to be around this all night long. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, so I got a little off, but that's okay because we have crack washy. You can see like the dots, but that's my bad and I'm not going to fix it. So <laughs> it's just the way it's going to be. Um, so we're going to go ahead and lay these down so that you guys can see the whole picture. Oh, I need to grab the sidebar one, but I won't lay the sidebar down just yet. We'll come back to that. Anyway, so they ended up giving him a private room because they said if we couldn't put up with him, no one could. So, and it was funny because he's like, they should have just left me in the ICU. And I was like, yeah, everyone agrees with you. Like, <laughs> no one wants you up here <laughs> if you cannot talk right or at least clean. Anyway, so <laughs> anyhow, so it was an interesting start. And then we basically, after that guy left, we didn't have, he didn't have a roommate. Um, so that made it a little bit more pleasant. But at the same time, once they... After we basically got there at shift change, and I guess that's like complete chaos. I, I remember because we came at shift change when I was in labor too, and I had to wait extra long to get my uh, epidural um, because, <laughs> because of the shift change. So um, we basically just sat on the bed, and I wasn't sure exactly when they started the whole like 24 or 48 hours of observation because basically that's what they said they wanted. I'm going to take these out. Um, basically, that's what they said they wanted to do. Um, to make sure he didn't go septic. Um, cause they were like, well, you can go home, but you have to watch out for this. And I was like, um, I'm not a doctor, so we are going to stay. Um, <laughs> as far as that goes, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know any of this stuff. I did not go to medical school. I did okay in science and that's about it. And I did okay in health. So I was not going to deal with that. All right, let's go ahead and put our date dots as we go. If I can remember. And yes, I know I desperately need to get the nails done, but obviously that has not been a priority in my life. Um, the priority was keeping husband alive. All right, so we need to put down some crack washi in between. I kind of do that as we go, and then I snip it with my little baby scissors. Although these are not scissors that are for children. I just call them baby scissors because they're tiny. I'll snip it as we go. Okay, um, uh, so then we stayed overnight. His white blood cell count was still pretty high, so they kept him another night. Um, and then the doctor did put him on 
a full liquid diet, which was very difficult because of my husband's um, esophagus disease thing. He can't have any, he's not gluten free. He's not allergic to gluten. He's allergic basically all wheat he tries to avoid, including like corn and like soy and all that kind of stuff. So, um, so we have to avoid all of that. And so that made it a little bit harder because like the things that he could have, like the potato soup and tomato soup, um, all had flour in it. And then the, um, the cream of wheat was the other like substantial thing. So he didn't have anything substantial that he could eat that he wasn't allergic to on their liquid diet. So that was really hard on him. And then I don't even know how much he wants me to talk about this, but oh well. I guess we didn't really talk about how much I could talk about. Anyway, so I think I explained. He had diverticulitis and a rupture. Okay. Um, so then they kept him overnight. And then the second, so Saturday, everything starts to blur together when you're in the hospital. So then. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know. I mean, a lot of you messaged me and were like, you knew of someone or you yourself had like been through this. And so I was like, okay, this is reassuring. Other people have done this and they're alive and everything's okay. And I can stop panicking maybe a little, but you know, when it's a loved one, you just panic anyway. So, <laughs> um, my son went and stayed with my parents as far as that goes. Oh, I forgot our date doc. Um, so Friday, he was supposed to go to his dance, so he didn't get to go to his dance. Um, I took him um, ambulative care. My husband was in ambulative care first, and then that's when they decided we need to go ahead and admit you to the hospital after they did a CT scan and stuff. So then um, at that point, I took... I, I picked up our son and I was in the truck and that's not safe. So then I had to switch cars. And so then I took him to my parents' house and said, um, if I don't have time and things, you know, go awry, there's extra actually change of clothes in his backpack because he always has emergency clothes because he's in kindergarten and that's what they tell you to pack. So he already had those. And um, so I was like, it'll be fine. And I explained to my son that I was like, you're probably not going to go go to the dance because dad's going to go or dad's going to be in the hospital and I'm not sure. And then by the time I got back to my husband, they had said, yeah, we have a bed for you or you can refuse service and try to figure out, you know, antibiotics on your own. And I was like, um, no. So, <laughs> so, um, at that point they had him on another round of antibiotics or fluids or something. And they said, um, this won't be done for another hour, so that's about how long you have. So I said, okay, I have one hour to go get clothes for us at the hospital and for my husband and to pack a bag for my son. And um, they basically said 24 hours to 48 hours, and I was really hoping it would only be 24 hours and I should have packed for 48. But, you know, say la vie. So, um, so I was able to have my mom meet me back at the ambulative, I think that's what it's called, um, care place. It's kind of like urgent care, I guess, but like with an appointment, it's weird. So, <laughs> so then, um, we went, my parent, my mom met me there so then I could give her like my son's, um, stuffed animals that he sleeps with and his pajamas and all that stuff. So did that. All right. Sidebar. This. Okay. And it's up on the side. Good. Go to your header. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this side and then I'll finish that side, I think, is my plan. I hope you guys are okay with me like explaining everything. I just felt like I needed to, even for like my own sanity. Um and so I messaged my department head and was just like, We're at the hospital now. Like they already knew that like basically I told you guys that my husband had the stomach flu is what was happening first. And then this developed is kind of what happened. So there's the quote box. That. And then we'll use another plain glitter header to make that line up right. So then Saturday night, yeah, Saturday night he got another roommate. And this was um, an older gentleman. I think they said he was in his 70s. 
and he had I mean, it's a curtain you guys so there is no like privacy <laughs> about who has what and what's going on just letting you know if you ever get checked into a hospital everybody can hear you okay march is where we're at i don't know why i had to look probably because i'm just tired um so he had like three hernias poor guy like just awful and his wife was like okay um your brother's here i'm gonna go and get dinner and take a nap and like all the stuff i was like all right and then we ended up having to like help him a couple of times not like physically obviously but um he couldn't figure out the remote his shoulder was busted he had like a torn rotator cuff and all this stuff like seriously this guy was like falling apart i felt so bad for him and um so his brother had left i'm not even sure where his brother went but he was like alone and he was like hello and i was like do you need something because um i need some help moving or something like that and i was like okay i can page the nurse for you because we had the same like nurse assistant or whatever so i just called over and said like bed two needs assistance blah blah um and they were like okay that's fine and they sent someone over pretty much immediately i'm trying to decide i didn't go all the way over enough remember i had to have that line right there but now this is not super extra wide for like the wider washi i'm just afraid if i line it up with the sidebar is it gonna no it shouldn't cover up the quote it'll cover up kind of the border of that i totally folded it but it doesn't matter okay i'm gonna go ahead and do this part so um he was still there when we left he had just gotten there they were basically trying to get him to be okay and then um, to avoid doing surgery on him, which is basically what we were doing for my husband, too. It was kind of a waiting game on whether he was going to have to have surgery. Um, and so that was the other reason that I was like, yeah, he needs to stay at the hospital because if he needs surgery, he needs to already be ready. And, like, the whole, like, what diet he should be on and what he should be eating and stuff, like, I'm not qualified, so... I was like, we need to stay here where they know what to do. So I stayed basically in this recliner chair the whole time. And so that's what I slept in. And then Thursday. Um, but Saturday night, that man, I mean, he was in so much pain. He just kept saying, oh, God, oh, God, over and over. And um, then, like, his wife turned on the tv like 2 a.m and watching tv really loud and so like not a lot of sleep happened and i was just like i can't wait to go to bed in my own house with the peace and quiet and that's honestly we just enjoyed the quiet when we got home like we just enjoyed the quiet and we're like our bed feels so much more comfortable now than like what we we were complaining about our bed before like this whole thing happened <laughs> like and how it wasn't so comfy anymore and now we're like, it's fine. <laughs> so it's kind of funny the perspective you get. And then in his hospital bed, he felt like he was just sleeping on a bar. So then by morning on Sunday, the doctor said he could go on um, like regular food, but needed to like watch it. And um, so he ordered an omelet. Um, those won't work. I was trying to see if my scraps would work for right here, but it won't. Um, so he did order an omelet, and he ate that. He ate about half of it, and then he did eat a little bit of fruit, but he had already eaten some of his liquid diet stuff. The, not liquid diet as in, like, they put a tube down his throat and had a liquid diet. It was, like, pudding and yogurt and jello. That kind of stuff is a liquid diet. And then he was able to, like, order the, the broth, but then I had to look it up and make sure that they didn't put anything in it because he can't have cornstarch either. Like that's part of the whole corn and wheat and stuff. And like, there's been things where we didn't know that they put cornstarch in it, like veggie straws or veggie, the veggie chips, um, the straws ones, um, they put cornstarch on those. So he can't have those. And then like they put cornstarch on, there's a whole video of me just talking about things. Um, uh, they put cornstarch on the rotisserie chickens at Walmart. Um, that used to be kind of our go-to not-so-unhealthy thing, like, so that we didn't get fast food. 
kind of to go and um so we don't do that anymore but there's just things like that that you like don't even realize is what i was trying to say anyway so basically his white blood cell count came down his fever went away and um so things are getting back to normal but monday i was like i need to take off monday like emotionally drained as well like i was exhausted obviously lots of tears like stress and all of that and like i'm i'm doing pretty good now i think i'm able to talk about all this and not cry about it so that's that's a, that's a step in the right direction but i was not about to like try to go to work today and get through that we did go ahead and have my son go to school because when he wasn't like a part of everything he just got to spend the weekend at his grandparents house um and i tried to explain it to him that he basically had a little vacation <laughs> is what i told him so and then I did email his teacher because he's in kindergarten. I did email his teacher and say, this is what happened this weekend. So if he mentions it or he just seems a little emotionally like different, I'm going to trim that off. I have to trim all this extra top stuff off because I put this one in there, but I like it. So I do it. Um, and so I did do that, which she was, she seemed really grateful for. She's like, okay, I'll be watching him give him a little bit more TLC, which he had already earned. He's so cute. He earned lunch with his teacher by doing his like um, classwork or something. I don't know. It's on the computer. It's some kind of computer work that he does. Um, but he had earned lunch with his teacher. So he got to have lunch with his teacher today, which I think was probably really beneficial. And he did share with me that he shared um, with some of his friends what happened. So I thought that was good. I'm like, good. That's very good. You need to tell your friends what's going on with you because they will care about you, which I mean, I did. Some of you I know pretty personally now, and so some of you I did already share this with, so I'm sorry if I didn't reach out to you specifically if um, <laughs> we have that kind of friendship and I just didn't. There was only, like, honestly a handful of people that I even talked to, and that was because mostly because they had already talked to me. Some of you reached out to me after I posted, and that was fine, too. Thank you so much for, like, your love and support and, friend and friendship and um, prayers and thoughts for... Um, what my husband was going through and me emotionally what I was going through so obviously his was scarier but I was definitely going through some stuff too so there you go and then um so I just I was like I am in no shape to go to work today and so I worked on orders but I found that something may have slipped out of someone's order so I'm waiting to hear on who that was um <laughs> It was a um, metallic silver bow final sticker. So <laughs> if you're missing one of those, I'm very much aware <laughs> that I missed it. But I don't know whose it is because it was a new release and so many people ordered it. And I filled 25 orders today. And usually my husband does the loading and I do the other stuff. And yeah, just missed it somehow. So I'm really sorry if that was you. Um, just, you know, shoot me a message on Etsy and let me know so I can send this off to the right person. Because I'm like, there's no telling who it was. This is my problem. I'm pretty sure it was someone that probably had multiples, that had ordered multiples of the bow. Because I know that I, I check everything off. And so I think that's what it was. But I just wanted to, like, throw that out there ahead of time. And it's like, yep. I was doing everything solo and today so today my rundown was taking my son to school and then I um I hope you guys like this plan with me when I'm not even talking about what I'm doing in my planner but I've used her kits before so I think it's just kind of like routine and you guys get to kind of see how it develops as far as that goes okay so we remembered all of our dates yay yay I feel like I have to go like this so you guys can see my thumbs up or else it looks like I'm just pointing my thumb up at you. <laughs> uh, whatever. <laughs> okay, so we want to do um, our wide washi on this side. You guys can't see it. Um, so I took my son to school and then I um, went to the grocery store. And I had like a list of things that I was going to get. And I decided to like kind of meal plan at least for the next three days. Because um, he needs to take it easy for at least 
10 days. It seems that like most cases, once like a rupture has happened and healed, it takes about seven to 10 days before you're really back to normal. And his doctor just pretty much said, avoid eating anything greasy um, for a, a long time. So, um, which is hard because he was doing keto and like, honestly, he wasn't, I mean, greasy foods are not good anyway, but like when I would go pick up food, it would be burger. Like he would get a burger with no bun and stuff and that's still greasy. And he would eat French fries and stuff like that. And honestly, we had gotten bad with that too. Um, we had still been losing weight, so that's good. I think I'm down 52 pounds now. Um, it's slowing down, but that's okay. I'm not working out. I was using my kettlebell, but like I told you guys, I really haven't had time or energy to want to devote it to it. Look at that. Voila. It is done. Okay, so I just need to trim that, but I'll probably do that later. Let's go ahead and add in some other stuff. So I have um, extra glitter headers. Um, I'm going to put something on the side here. Usually I need to use that anyway, but I always forget. So I end up putting a glitter header. Um, so I put my Monday through Sunday here. Yeah. I'm going to end up covering his face. His face. And then I think I'm going to grab, because this is going to be orders from this week. So I have a sticker that says orders this week. If I can grab that real quick. Yeah, it says this week's orders. I'm gonna grab that and just lay that across. Instead of, I could have grabbed this week, but I think this will look cute across here too. And then that way I still get to use the glitter header that's already down. And then I always have people ask me for glitter headers. And I'm never sure if you're talking about plain glitter headers or like this. So sometimes I send you this. And then these are little extra skinny washi chunks. Um, by the way, that's what those are. And then there is a habit tracker, which I do use one of those. So we'll put that down. I'll just put it down here so we don't cover it. Actually, I think I'm going to... Mm, what did I do last time? Yeah, I covered up that word. So I think I'm going to list new releases there. I'm going to decide. No, because I might have quite a few. I'm not really sure. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just cover up this part. Like the glitter line part do that there and then there is a payday bill due some little flags and quarter boxes and such if you need those and then there's some date dots and month covers that's done i always end up with an extra water tracker and christine and elizabeth usually duke it out for that um i do have some extra quarter boxes but i'm probably going to use that in the mini one and then so plan next week. I plan in this planner on Mondays. I'm going to stick this. This is from Pomegranate Sticker Co. And so is that one. I'm going to stick that right there. Then on Mondays. And then spread picks. So this will be what I post on Instagram still. So we have spread picks here. These are from Britannia. It's her hand drawn camera that one on this side okay and then i'm still gonna like update and plan on wednesday and sunday so that one's done from sticker monster co we have a coffee one from sweet kawaii designs i think we'll use this one it's panda and the little coffee mug, so cute. I'm wondering what I'm gonna do with this after I'm done. I'm thinking I'm gonna cut this out right here, I guess. I don't know. I have no idea. Show me what you did with yours. Okay, so this week's orders. Etsy. So we're gonna put our little Loretta Etsy from Cupcakes and Stickies. And then we have our character sticker from Britannia. We'll just use this little love one. Right there. And then we have our full week scripts, full week pick. These are from Britannia as well. Before the pain. And then our midweek. Okay. And then the habit tracker is for Facebook. Put it right over there. Right in his beard so he has something to be grumpy about. 
And then we have our silly holidays. So the fourth is music day. So she did music. And then the fifth is pancake day. Won't my son be happy? Kid loves pancakes. Six is wear a dress day. I don't wear dresses. That's not a thing. And then seventh is book day. Eight is writing day. I used to write all the time. I used to write journals. Nine is get over it day. And then 10 is daylight saving. So don't forget the madness. Oh, skipping forward. Yeah. Blech. Okay. New releases. This I'm going to wait on because I'm not sure what I'm doing. So, because normally new releases go up Wednesday. But if I'm going to do my sale Friday, Saturday, then I hold off on posting new releases until Friday. Um, and Friday is a teacher work day. So I should have time to like post and announce and stuff. But it's just hard to do that when I'm at work. Um, but this is the start of spring break for my students. And then basically I would have orders to fill at the beginning of spring break. And then I would be done. And so then I would have time to like make new releases for the next week. So that's what like I'm currently like considering. But I don't know what that really like I don't know looks like so we'll see about when I do new releases on the sale and stuff but that is in the works for wanting to do that so I'm looking at some of my stickers and making sure I got everything I need and I think I did okay oh I was gonna put down um Loretta because this is like where I'm gonna post Instagram stuff there okay so now we have our Instagram Loretta on there too. Okay, so then my little, I think I'm going to add my washi chunks. My card is looking really weird, but um, I still kind of like it. So I think I'm still going to add these little strips of um, sticker glitter washi um, to it. And it might almost be done. I just really need one more chunk and then I'll put like a little quote. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like at the end because I think that's kind of fun. And you guys can kind of see how my spreads have added to what is kind of a hodgepodge of the creation of a card with my extra washi stuff. Okay, so I pulled too many clips, which I do a lot. Um, so I need to decide which ones I'm gonna use. I definitely want, definitely, um, want this bow because of her bow on her hair. And so I want it over here. I still need to trim the stickers, but I still wanna show you what it looks like. Okay, and then someone is basically probably gonna take this off my hands. I can probably check my messages right now. I don't see anything, but we'll see. So I'm not going to put that one on here because it might not be available. Um, I could put, I know, I know the apple's available. I want to put the apple on here. And then I really want to put this, the palm. And then I think I'm going to skip this one too because there's only one, this is the only one and it's not listed. So I think you guys would be like thoroughly disappointed in me if I posted it. I'm going to put that there and then I'm going to scoot this over. You guys can see that and then I'll put this palm over here I don't know that feels unbalanced but then it kind of doesn't I'm not sure so let's go ahead and zoom out so you guys can see the full spread but there you go it's beautiful I love it make sure you check out party planner in the description box below I'll try to remember to put down the Facebook group and her Instagram and her Etsy shop and then you can use code Leslie 20 for 20% 20 off of anything from her shop any amount um, and then you also get my freebie which has little Rosie Fox on it which I didn't have I don't think um, she looks like this so there's like a hodgepodge of like her on a sheet um, as far as that goes so um, that's the freebie from her and then I do have if it's your first time ordering from sweet Kawhi design there is a 10% off like link I think in my um, description box below and then cupcakes and stickies you can use code Leslie 10 for 10% off sticker monster co you can use code Leslie 20 SMC for 20% off um, did I say Leslie 20 for cupcakes it's Leslie 10 for 10% off and then pomegranate sticker co is RWCS 25 for 25% off Britannia is um, run with 15 for 15% 15 off and I think that's it I think <laughs> all right and then you can use code youtube 10 for 10 percent off my shop so you can get the matching clips because you need those all right thank you guys so much for watching and thank you heather for my charm and then i think this one is from uh trinkets and whimsies um heather doesn't have a shop yet but i think that she should because they're adorable
All right, bye guys.